right. a year of government-imposed lockdowns, vaccine mandates, mass mandates, left and right, and now a plan for the IRS to look into your bank account. I'm not kidding. It's really no wonder Americans are fed up with government overall. And a new Gallup poll says this. 43% of Americans think the government should do more to solve our problems. But here's the big number. 54% say, 54% uh, said they shouldn't. Maybe Joe Biden's heavy-handed approach has soured some folks. So let's start with you, Janin. This poll surprised me. In a time in which people like to blame and point fingers, they're saying, I want government to do less. Mm -hmm. They have too much, and they've got their hands in too many situations. Are you surprised by this? Well, but they voted for an administration who would be for more government control. I, I mean, this is the person that So you think it's in the response to what we've seen for the last nine I months. think so. I think they're frustrated. And I think the best illustration is college football. <laughs> okay, you see the yeah. stadiums full of like 80, 90, 100,000 people who what say. What they chant? I basically, can't make that out. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> let's go, let's Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. Right, um, yeah. But I think that that is people showing up saying, like, we're going to make our own decisions and we've decided this situation is okay with our risk tolerance level. They're going to show up. I think that's the kind of pushback where you're saying people are tired of somebody telling them what to do. And by the way, I have to mention this because we had this on the show last night, University of Florida. I'm a Seminole. These are Gators, but hey, they have good information. Mm -hmm. And they said they've been tracking these trends. They say the, the chief epidemiologist there tracked tracking these big football games, because they have big football games in Florida, right. says not seeing any COVID ramifications, these outdoor events really are not the super spreader events that people worried that they were going to be. So I think some Americans are deciding that they know better for themselves. I didn't think we, we haven't felt this way. Uh, the government was the problem. Remember, Ronald Reagan ran on that, Katie. The government's the problem. Get out of the way. Uh, and now do you think, does this poll convince you that America's changed their minds, or do you need to see more? If you combine this with Joe Biden's uh, polling numbers on his job approval and yes they're getting frustrated but it's more about the philosophy that you have behind government so when there's a big crisis people tend to think that the government should be able to handle it but then they screw it up and they go too far especially democrats and implement all these things that people say are you know we could have done a year ago they're not applicable now and when you go from 15 days to slow the spread to a year and a half later of take a vaccine or lose your livelihood and your job and the ability to feed your children, I think people probably think you're going too far. But it also goes to uh, the fact that just this week, the press secretary, Jen Psaki, said that Joe Biden is taking advantage of this crisis to try and implement his $3.5 trillion agenda because they still think that people are in crisis mode and they want the government to, to handle things and take care of them. Um, but they've proven on a lot of these things that they've screwed up, they've missed the mark, and they're going way too far when it comes to controlling people's lives a year and a half after this And, and Jesse, what, what they're allowing, what they're also saying to us, too, and, and further in this poll, is that not only do we want to be left alone, but the stuff that you do have your hands in, we want you to back off. 43% of Americans say there's too much government regulation in business and industry. 25% say there's too little. 30% say right amount. People want the people from the deli owner to the restaurant to big business. Back off. Let me try to be successful. I like these numbers a lot. There was a great <laughs> piece today in The Post. It was by Glenn Reynolds. The irrational COVID regime is driving many Americans to a healthy non-compliance. And they use a term called Irish democracy. So Irish democracy is when the country... Leave without... You go to a party and leave without saying yeah. goodbye? That's an Irish goodbye. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but when the government, we don't like, but we're not going to riot. We're not going to overthrow the government. We're just not going to comply. We're right. going to foot drag. You know, maybe we'll do a little sabotage, throw a little monkey ah. wrench in there. And you look around at America, and that's what we're doing. Are we wearing our masks here? Are we wearing them down below the nose? Are we not wearing them all, right? Social distancing, okay, I'm going to the beach. I'm going to the football game, all right? You know what? Not feeling too good today. I think I'm going to have to call in sick. Sorry if your flight's canceled. That's where we are in this country. We didn't like what they did with uh, telling us how many people we could have in our restaurants. They made us pay money for these plastic dividers. Didn't even work, all right? Now our kids have to stay home on Zoom. No thanks. Irish democracy. Jessica, ditto? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'd rather talk about Irish goodbyes, actually, than <laughs> Irish democracy. So something that's interesting about poll questions like this is that they're really broad, right? So would you, you want less government in your life? Yes or no? But if you go to the individual issues, there are a lot of places where Americans, the overwhelming majorities, actually do want government in their lives. Like, you have polls from the Kaiser Family Foundation that even show a majority of Republicans want a public option, for instance. They want expansion of Medicare. You have majorities of Americans that are for vaccine mandates. You have people who are pro-masking, et cetera. So 
you have to be careful about just saying this means, you know, Joe Biden has had a terrible, you know, six months in office and they're turning against the idea of big government. It's the individual policies that count. Regulation has always been a place where people want the red tape cut. But they do want the government, the federal government, to help with climate change, for instance. But when you ask the follow-up question, uh, who is paying for it or should people lose their job for forced vaccination, the answer is no. So. Yeah. Well, Even yeah. though thousands but have no lost one... their jobs. So I'll have you there... phrase the question. Yeah. We're on to you, pollsters, Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> All right, meanwhile, <laughs> what camera should I say this? <laughs> That the, one. I only have five words. The <laughs> fastest is up next. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.